that's when I knew that I got it, my hair. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Monica. First video, I wanted to talk about how I got my hair to grow. So I just wanted to start from the beginning. Um, first, um, I did my big chop in 2017. Um, I was permed for the longest time. And, you know, I was like, okay, I'm tired of my hair looking like this. Like, the front of my hair was, like, really, really short. So I was like, you know what, let's just cut it off. So I, I was transitioning. My hair was just like that. And um, I was moisturizing my hair and I was oiling my hair. And I just always kept it under either like braids or you know when I first started getting into sewing and stuff like that and by 2019 my hair was flourishing and I like finally straightened it and it looked like this I just remembered oh my gosh like I was just so happy I was like oh my god I didn't think my hair could get that long you know what I mean and you know I continued straightening it and you know it was looking good it was just really puffy because like that's how my hair is like every time I straighten it it looks like I blow dry it and I you know, my mom and everybody else, they kept telling me, oh, stay away from heat, stop, stop using heat on your hair. And, you know, you know, I was always doing hairstyles, like, I was always doing, you know, a swoop and all that stuff. That was my signature look, like, I always did that. And uh, when I started to notice a change and, like, a difference in my hair was um, in 2021, like, like, I looked at my hair and it was, like, it was feeling so thin and I was just like, yeah. And I, oh! That's when I knew that I got it, my hair. Like, I, I knew it was so bad. Like, I was just like, oh my God, like, are you serious? Like, I was taking pictures of it. Like, I was I was ignoring the fact that it was thinning. Like, like, you can see it in the pictures and stuff like that. Like, you know, it was it was just like, it was bad. Like, and I was cutting my hair. Like, I was like trimming it with like scissors like these. And it was just making it worse and worse and worse. And like, it got to the point where my friends were like, oh my God, your hair got shorter. And I would feel so embarrassed and stuff like that because I'm supposed to have long hair and all that stuff. But it wasn't until that point I was like, you know what, whatever. So I remember I cut my hair up to like right here. And um, I was just like, okay, we're gonna find a way to um, grow my hair. And I was, I was doing trial and error. And then I found, you know, a lot of people were using rosemary water and aloe is a good contributor to hair growth as well. So I was making the um, the concoction, everything, putting it all together. You know, I was doing what they told me to do and I was putting it in my hair. And now me, I don't really wear my hair out. So I always wear it under wigs. And personally for me, the way my hair grows is under dirt. I don't wanna say dirt, but it's, yeah. When my hair is dirty and I don't touch it, like the less manipulation I do to my hair, the more it'll grow. So I'll braid it back and I'll put it under my wigs and stuff like that. And I, every time I take my wig off, I would just go back in, you know, massage my scalp with it and then put another wig on. But, you know, um, after a while, you know, you gotta, when you, once your hair starts getting itchy, you gotta take it out, wash it, and then I just redo it. And then, you know, I kept seeing like new growth and all that stuff. But um, it wasn't until I went to a hair the hairdresser last week, so last Friday, um, the 18th of November, to be precise. And no one's ever done my hair since I was 12 years old, I've always had my hair. And she did my hair and she straightened it and all that stuff. And that's the picture, that's the new picture for, you know, the present. All right, so this is the one that you need. That's all you need. And some um, aloe. Right, so you let your rosemary come to a boil just for a little bit like this mine kind of was going a little over I added a little too much water but once it gets like that you want to check on it and once you start to see your water is starting to look green that's when you know that it's done right now I'm just straining it because I don't want any of the leaves to be in the mixture. I 
So right now I'm just gonna add my hair oil to the water. I added way too much of the oil to the water. You don't need that much, especially if you don't want your hair to be oily, but I always braid my hair down afterwards, but now you're just gonna cap it off and let it sit for 24 hours. All right, it's the next day and I got aloe. I didn't wanna add that much aloe. I only used like, you know, one, like a fourth of it. Right here, I'm just adding it to a bullet cup. Um, you can choose to just mix it with a little bit of water, but I just decided to just mix it with the rosemary water. As you can see, it's way darker. That's how you know, you know it's ready. So I added a little bit of that to the bullet and I just blended it up. Right, so now I'm just making um, a container. I add a little bit of the aloe mixture and I just add some more of the rosemary water on top of that and that's basically it. Now if you have any of your own hair oils that you use and it's good for you, you can feel free to add that into it, but this is just personally what I do. Wow. Alright, so right now I'm just adding it to my hair. Please excuse my hair, it's all over the place. I've been going to the gym and it's been getting poofy and all that stuff, but mm -hmm. you want to massage your hair with your fingertips, not your nails. But yeah, that's basically all I do for my hair and I just braid it down. I just I recorded some clips that are pretty funny that I'm just gonna include it in here. I just I don't know. It's not long enough to make it into a Thanksgiving vlog, so I'll just put it here. Whatever. But yeah, other than that, um I don't really have any much to say. I would just say, you know, make sure you're moisturizing your hair, especially your ends. Oh my gosh, like take care of your ends, moisturize your ends, stuff like that with the oil. Hold on, let me look at that oil. Okay. This oil right here has been doing me good. Um, it's the Amelia Gold. Well, I didn't even say it right. Amla Gold hair oil. Um, there's another one, but I, I don't know about that one. I use the gold one, so, you know, do what you want. You know what I mean? You don't have to. If you have oil that works good for you, you can use that. But I've been using this, and this is pretty good. And I just, like, work it through my hair, and I, like, moisturize and all that stuff. But... <laughs> Yeah, here's my outfit. So I got this. And like these pants are too, they're too big. Oh my gosh, my friend told me that I was getting too big. Like, he told me I was getting too muscular. Like, like I know when I'm going to stop. I know, but thank y'all for watching. Sorry, come on. I just thought the sun was hitting pretty good, so I get it. Um, I don't know if I want to take pictures. It's like dark outside and all that stuff, but um, I might take pictures like right here.